Now you need to know in detail about the process of fish farming. There is now a real problem with overfishing the oceans. The increase in demand for fish means fish stocks are running out. One solution is to use fish farms which are increasing rapidly. What happens is fish are bred in large cages or tanks to stop them using as much energy swimming about. All the conditions can be monitored and controlled in order to enable maximum yield in as short a time as possible. We're going to look at a few things that you can do in fish farms to guarantee a higher yield. We're going to look at how to control predation, pest and disease, what kind of diet they should have, the conditions of the water and how to breed them. So let's look at predation first. Now, there's two types of predation you've got to be careful of if you're farming fish. First one is called interspecific predation. The use of nets prevent predation from animals of different species. So you've got different species, you, you're doing this in, uh, in, the, in the sea, then you want to really keep nets over the top and around the fish so that there, there's no chance of other organisms getting in and eating them. However, there's also an issue with intraspecific predation. This is predation from the same species. So bigger fish of the same species will actually eat smaller fish. So what you have to do very carefully is to separate the fish by age and by size to prevent that happening. Now disease can spread really quickly and easily when you've got huge numbers of fish in a very small confined area. So it's very important to make sure you're controlling disease. So pesticides can be used to kill pests such as sea lice or biological control can be used where you can introduce things like RAS which will eat sea lice. Um, Dead fish need to be removed very, very quickly because they can cause an infection, bacteria to develop, and antibiotics can also be added to treat the fish. The diet has to be controlled effectively as well. Fish are fed very regularly, sometimes 24 hours a day, to get the fish to grow as fast as possible. They're fed pellets, usually made from smaller fish, which is actually an issue in itself because it's causing a big decrease in wild fish species to make these pellets. The diet though is very high in protein and that gives a maximum growth and the pellets usually contain additives such as those antibiotics which I mentioned. Now you've got to keep the water quality at its optimum at all times. If you're growing fish in a tank then that's very easy to control the water quality. The water in the tanks is filtered to remove waste, the pH temperature and oxygen levels can all be monitored with sensors and adjusted accordingly. Fish which are naturally healthy large and require less food to grow are the ones that are selected for breeding. After a few generations of selective breeding, you will get this ideal fish, which will be able to grow very rapidly without being fed as much food, and that's obviously gonna maximize yield and therefore maximize the profit for the farmer. There is a detailed explanation of how sector breeding works in one of my other videos.